Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Trackman44 here. Hey, you know, a lot of guys, you know, kind of getting into the old tractors and stuff, you know, they have a little trouble figuring out, you know, how to, to time them and how to wire the distributor, the spark plugs and all that kind of stuff, you know. And uh, you know how whenever you're on, on YouTube, there's always things that pops up, suggested for you and all that kind of stuff. Well, yesterday I was watching some stuff and then up popped a video suggested for me. Um, spark plug wiring on a 641 Ford or how to wire a 641 Ford, whatever. And I said, what the heck, I clicked on it. I went back and watched it and it caught my attention immediately because the gentleman there, and I'm not, I'm not calling him out, I'm not saying anything negative about him, but he was referring to the, uh, the cylinder nomenclature as 1, 2, 3, 4 from the rear of the engine to the front. In other words, up by the radiator, he had that cylinder listed as number four, three, two, and one, all the way back by the transmission. That set me to thinking, you know, because I've got an 800 series Ford, and it's a 172 cubic inch motor, which is essentially the same thing as that 134 that he's working on in that tractor. And I had a tough time believing that they had the cylinders designated differently between the 600 and the 800. So, you know, <laughs> I'm not much on research, but I posted a, a question to Facebook just to kind of clarify in my own mind and um, I got some pretty good answers and everything there but I went back and watched the video again and I watched it in more detail and I decided it was time for me to kind of clarify uh, what may be a misconception about these Ford four-cylinder tractors and uh, now I'm not talking eight ends, two ends, nine ends they're probably the same way it's been a long time since I messed with one of those but specifically the hundred series Fords you know or actually any Ford four-cylinder engine uh, in these old tractors. But I'm going to sketch out what this fella did. I'm going to sketch out what the reality is, if I can do so without sounding so egotistic. Unfortunately, this is going to be at an angle for you guys. But I'm going to sketch out a four-cylinder square. First off, the firing order on the Ford is one, two, four, three. That is the actual firing order of the tractor. So I'm going to write firing order. Okay, so if you draw you a head or a top of an engine, top of the engine is square. We're going to have the radiator up here in front. Airflow is going to be going through the radiator. And then, of course, transmission is back here. This fella, and we'll go ahead and draw four spark plugs. This fellow said that you number them from the rear of the tractor one, two, three, and four. Then he had his distributor here and he went through a whole whole series of things that he was doing on the distributor. And of course he has the four plugs on the distributor and of course the coil connection. And he said what you do is you your firing order being one, two, four, three, you take and he had the the distributors always have a number one by number one hole. So that's the one that you really want to start out with is number one. Um, uh, there's other things we can go into. But anyway, so he went ahead and he took number one and he put it on number one spark plug, what he called number one spark plug. He took number two and put it on that one there. Then he took this one right here, number three, and he put that over here on number four spark plug, and he took this one here and brought it to number three. And he said that the firing order is one, two, four, three. So here's one, there's two, here's the third spot, and then there's the fourth spot. Okay, so it's one, two, four, cylinder number four, three, which is position number four on the distributor. So in essence, that is correct if you look at the um, if you look at the configuration the way he's got it. However, that's providing this is, is numbered correctly. This is the thing that's very ironic. I stopped and drew it a little bigger on a, on a piece of paper. But anyway, this is what, he, what we started off with right here. The number one position marked on the distributor cap, um, he had put to what he considered number one, two, and of course the, the next one in order went to four, and then the last one went to three. Because you know your distributor goes in a clockwise rotation. Now you got to bear in mind that a distributor is a pretty dumb thing. All it is is some gears and some stuff that goes around and around. It does, it does what it's going to do. So it doesn't really care what wires 
anything is pointing at as long as they're in the correct sequence. So just for the heck of it, just say this cap is oriented here, and there's a certain way that cap has to be oriented on a distributor because of notches and everything. Just for the heck of it, let's number this cylinder here. Let's, let's number this direction here. Let's call this one number one over here. It's going to rotate in this fashion right here. If it's number one, this is number two on the distributor. This will become number three and that'll become number four. Okay, but if you look at the actual wires that he has connected right here, remember factory firing order is one, two, four, three. If we number these in these this engine from the front to the back with one, two, three, four, which is the way your Ford engine should be, and then pretend that you put number one over here and not on the one with the one designation, but put it over here, 180 degrees away. Here's number one going to number one. This one goes to number two. The next one in the series goes to four. The last one in the series goes to number three. So here's your firing order. One, two, four, three. Down here, it's going clockwise. One, two, four, three. So it doesn't matter what you call him, I guess, from the back to the front or front to the back. The way he wired it is going to run. The way he answered, described it, I think, was not quite the way it needed to be explained. Nor is what I'm doing doing his justice either. But this is the orientation from front to rear. One, two, three, four. Firing order is one, two, four, three. So labeling it one, two, four, three is the way it's going to function, the way it's going to work. Hopefully that doesn't confuse the issue more than what uh, than what I was whenever I got started. But that just tells me I could not understand how that tractor started up and ran whenever he connect had them connected up from the rear of the engine forward. But it's because it doesn't matter what you call these terminals down here. And it doesn't matter, I guess, what you call these cylinders up here, as long as the wires are correctly applied to the way the factory suggests, or the factory demands, one, two, three, four, front to rear. All I did was change his number one designation from down here to over here. And I was able to see that what he'd done, though explained a little questionably, was actually correct. Well, I certainly hope that didn't muddy the waters any worse than what it was before I started. It's kind of hard to get your thoughts interpolated down on a piece of paper. But uh, that is really strange how that works out. But I guess on this engine, I guess it doesn't really matter what you call them as long as you hook them up correctly according to the factory, uh, the factory way from the front to back. I guess you can call those wire numbers or cylinder numbers anything that you want to call them as long as they're connected that direction in that fashion. I might have to think about this a little bit more yet, but uh, at any rate, I don't even have a 641 Ford. You know what? This is Trackman 44, and I am out of here, guys.